Hello my lovelies, so this is Lizzie from Love From Lizzie and today I'm bringing you the May 2021 Love From Lizzie card kit. Um, just a couple of quick things to let you know, we are all up to date with our emails and orders, everything is getting shipped out roughly same day or within 24 hours depending on where you are in the world as to what time we're able to ship. Um, and we have been able to get really nice and ahead with this month's kit. It's called Butterfly Wishes um, and I did just want to let you know if you're a subscriber to the kit and you're placing an add-on order please make sure to do it before 9am British summer time on the 28th of April. So you've got about a week and a half. We will start shipping on Tuesday the 4th of May. So usually we start shipping on the 1st however that falls on a Saturday this time around and on Monday the 3rd of April we have a bank holiday here in the UK so we have no postal collection so everything will start going from the 4th um, and it will be on its way to you as quick as possible. So with those little updates aside here is the Butterfly Wishes card kit. We're back to two bags again this month, so we've got the embellishment bag and we've got um, the A4 Ziploc. I do send everything out in Ziplocs because um, some of these kits go a very long way, quite literally to the other side of the world, so we need to make sure that they're fully protected um, and that the weather's not going to have a great impact if uh, it gets dropped in a puddle. So, our cardstock this month is 85 by 11 as always, so it's American letter size, so it can be split down the middle for a top fold or across um, the center to be able to make a side fold or um, a tent stand card. And in the kit this month, you've got a sheet of silver mirror, white alcohol marker friendly cardstock, so great for um, Copic, Spectrum Noir or um, Altenew, any of those sort of uh, markers. These do also work great with Prismacolor pencils and um, well even, even down to Zig markers I've used on there. I, I haven't found a medium that doesn't work on it, it's super smooth. And then we've got this lovely aubergine purple. We've got an ivory and we have this sort of mid, it's like a lilac-y pinky colour and then we have this really lovely like, moss green um, it's a little bit khaki I suppose but a bit with a bit more oomph to it than what we would just call standard khaki and peel-offs this month we are using silver moon dust in a pin which we have used before but it worked so well with this kit and with peel-offs, especially the pin stripes, you can never have too many, they, they do like to get used up so um, they are your peel-offs. Also in the A4 bag this month we have got some decoupage sheets. We haven't done these for a while so um, I'm really pleased to be able to include these again. There are eight sheets, they are eight by eight and how they work if you're new to us is each of them are numbered. So you start off with the first number and then the second piece you pop out, they're all pre-die cut so they just, they just pop out of the backer sheet and then you pop some foam squares behind it and then layer it directly on top and then you take number three and you do the same. And there's a couple of little extra pieces here and you've got some sentiments on some of the pages. So this could just be used on one card and then this on another card. So it's whatever you fancy but it's not just necessarily one piece per sheet um, and there are eight sheets of the decoupage they do have like a really pretty glitter finish they've all got different sentiments so we've got just for you special wishes lots of love and you're lovely we've got happy birthday special friend and thinking of you i'm hoping this glitter is being picked up but it's just little accents here and there then we have best wishes and some extra little topper pieces there a lovely bouquet of flowers in a pretty pot with lots of love as a sentiment and you see this decoupage piece doesn't have a sentiment at all so it can be for whatever it is you fancy we've got just for you and thank you and then we've got love and wishing you a lovely day on this really pretty tag especially for you and lots of love and then with love and then hugs and kisses and lots of love as extras so 
there alone you could make 10 cards just using these pieces i'm more than confident um so you know I, we like to do 10 cards one kit videos um with these kits because we supply five sheets of cardstock so you've got everything that you need apart from you know scissors and glue and the essentials but you can make so many more with this if you uh if you add in some extra cardstock Okay, so we've got six by six patterned papers and some of these are specialty and I'll bring it to your attention when they are. This one has got glitter over it again. I'm not sure that the camera is going to be able to show you, but the butterflies and parts of the borders um, have got glitter there. Um, these are all single sided, so you haven't got to choose between which is your favourite. Here you've got some of these really cute little um, sentiments and they're almost like top of little pieces, so you could cut them all out and create your own sort of collage with that. Um, here you've got these lovely roses over um, a very gently striped background. Here you've got just sort of like a grid and again really good as a secondary if you're using a very busy pattern it's nice to have something to coordinate that with. Here we've got this sort of aubergine colour with a lilac um, geometric pattern. Lots of very pretty butterflies. These almost look like a lotus flower motif and again it's in different shades of purple and lilac some flowers and butterflies over a polka dot background another sort of geometric one there and we've got uh, this is a glitter sheet here with the roses and the butterflies and then we've got two foiled and this one is sort of like um uh, like a mermaid's tail i suppose um, and this one is a really pretty butterfly with that silver foiling. So everything is designed to sit nicely together. It makes it super easy when you sit down with your kit. You don't have to think about it because whatever you put together is going to work. Now this is the stamp set um, that comes with the kit this month. And it's a little bit different to normal. But what I've created is one sort of large stamp which is a butterfly with lots of little um, spots and circles and then some tiny little butterflies around it so there isn't a hard edge on it but if you've got um, some little circular dies um, this will work really well or great for making a window card um, you could also obviously stamp this out and then fussy cut around the butterfly if you wanted just that or just to pop it up a little bit in the decoupage style um, and then there's this border here. Now, the way that I've designed this border is that the butterflies rotate completely round. So it will stamp great down the length of your card base, but it will also stamp across the width and it won't look upside down. Um, and then you've got three floating butterflies. They're all the same butterfly um, in different aspects and different sizes. So you can create a background with the tiny ones if you want. Um, and then we've got Butterfly Wishes, which is actually in the Love From Lizzie font. It's my favourite font. Um, and then you've got some smaller sentiments. We've got get well soon, good luck, happy birthday, congratulations and happy retirement. So you could stamp your butterfly wishes on the front of your cards with this little sentiment on the inside or vice versa. Um, but this is a really versatile stamp set that we've got in this month's kit. So onto the embellishment bag. And what we have in here, as always, we have our sequin mix. And this month we have an array of silver and purple butterflies with some lovely clear iridescent tiny little circle, like flat circles and cups. And there's also some tiny silver hearts. Now this is just a sample bag. We do um, a full size bag if you particularly like that as an add on. Um, we have got these lovely little resin flowers. They are self adhesive and they're sort of like roses and I'm not great with flowers. Um, but I would say sort of like maybe, a, I want to say chrysanthemum, but again, I, I may be completely off base, but they all have this adhesive on the back. Um, if you're popping them through the post, I would suggest like a multimedia mat just to really make sure it's secure on there. But um, they are a little bit 3D, so they do give a little bit of a pop to the card. We have got, you've got four of these sort of holographic 3D acetate butterflies two in each design um, and they again are self adhesive they just peel off the backing sheet um, and as you can see they've got some nice nice sparkle to them we have got some ribbons this month they are um, slightly different in widths 
um, but there are five different lengths and they're a metre length each and they're like a really lovely sort of canvas finish so they're matte um, and you've got one that's got these flowers printed on then you've got this grid which is similar to one of the pattern papers you have with love really cute little butterfly and then again a geometric similar again to this pattern paper so that all works together really nicely and then the dies this month are standalone dies so they they don't um they work completely by themselves and it was one of the reasons that we put some silver mirror cardstock in because we thought they'd work really nicely but you have a really pretty rose with some leaves to the side you have a lovely butterfly, a sentiment which says best wishes with a tiny butterfly to the side and then a tag which says have a lovely day with some butterflies and this one's great for paper piecing if you've got the patience for it because you can die cut it out twice and then you can inlay um, the sentiment and the butterflies back in. So that is the Love From Lizzie May butterfly wishes card kit i really hope that you like it um, i'm actually very much looking forward to making with this one and because it's come ahead in time so well i think there's a very good chance i'm personally going to be able to make with it the design team kits have already gone out they're on their way to them so hopefully their videos won't be far behind this is as always under limited stock um, we have we have our kits made and once they're gone i'm afraid they've gone um, any questions do let me know and if there's something particular that you really like about this kit let me know what it is just so that I can make sure that I provide it again for you in the future. The product release video is coming shortly um, and there's all the add-ons that are with this and we also do the recommended add-ons which may be things that you've purchased in the past from previous kits so you know to pull those out and put them on your desk when you're having a play as it will work nicely. And we've also got some more bundles. Last month we released some bundles of products and we're doing the same thing again this month. So thank you ever so much for sticking with me and I'll pop some still shots up now. And until next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.